Now he's more, he's able to aim it better, maybe reload it faster. Uh, he also has some hardware augmentations to his body and he can use a software interface to affect things like uh, you know, how fast he is or how high he can jump or, or maybe how quickly he could reload his weapons or maybe how accurate he is with them. And these software uh, interfaces are useful. Now we're going to go deep into the Iridium mines. As we go down, I want to point out that there are two players playing cooperatively. When you get online, you can play with four players, and your character is persistent. If Mark is halfway through the game, let's say he's level 12 now, and he convinces one of you to buy the game, and you're just starting out, he can actually join in with you. And he'll be level 12 with all the stuff that he's got, and all of his skills, and you'll be at the beginning. Uh, go ahead and uh, use that, that, that software interface there. And go, go back over, change your reload time. I noticed the reload on that rifle is slow. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna trade accuracy for, for reload speed. There's a lot of different skills and skill trees. That's a, uh, a, we call those skag piles. The skags sometimes eat bandits and other guys they find out there and, and then they vomit up their bones and, and sometimes you can find some good loot, you know, if they had like orb shields or, or, or storage decks with them. Uh, this, this container is a great place to find some loot, see what kind of drops we get here. Wow, that pistol's got a blade on it. That's pretty fortunate. There are, uh, there are a lot of guns in Borderlands. There's a lot of equipment. Uh, when we presented the game at, last year at the German Game Convention, we talked about half a million guns. There are over half a million weapons in Borderlands. This is a Jacobs revolver. I like the Jacobs guns. They've got wooden stocks. Wood is very rare on the planet of Pandora. There's no tree, so it has to be imported. Uh, go ahead and, and we're going to cheat now. Go ahead and, and throw out a gun. Just spawn it. Spawn it. Actually, spawn it. Just spawn a bunch. We'll just show you. Every single one of these guns is different. They're, they're procedurally generated. No development team on the planet can create half a million weapons in the, in, in, with, within the time and budgets that we're, we're dealing with here. Uh, we have created software that actually creates these things for us using rules. Every manufacturer of these weapons, like TDO and Vladoff and uh, SNS and Dahl, these guys all have rules and, and materials that define what, what, what's available in this world. And we're always looking for better stuff. That's pretty sweet. Nice scope on that one. Uh, you'll also notice that some of these things have some different color to them. There, there's some blue on that. Uh, this guy might have an electrical effect. Uh, it's kind of a, a secondary effect when we hit these guys. Uh, fire this weapon a few times. I noticed this is a rifle that actually looks like it has a revolver. Uh, uh, the, the reload the thing. Look, it's, it's like a revolver. Uh, uh, load. I, I've never seen that weapon before. That's pretty neat. Um, and I'm discovering new things uh, all the time as we play this game. Now this is real. This is live. Now we're not done yet. This is we're actually pre-alpha still. So um, so the game's amazingly far along for where we are in development. Oh my god, you just blew the top half of that guy off. It's extremely violent, guys. You're going to see it's M-rated. You're going to see lots of blood and gore here. Millet. 